We're here talking with Senators catcher Brian Jeroleman. And uh, Brian, uh, you're splitting some time this year with Spencer Keeboom. You guys have been really the, the main catchers all season long for the Senators. You know, what's it like working with a young guy? And uh, Spencer's really come along as the year's gone on. You know, he's a good starting catcher. Uh, you know, this there's high expectations for him. And uh, we hope he fulfills them. You know, there's things that he's improving on every day. And he's a hard worker. Uh, it's fun to watch him catch. And hopefully he keeps making steps in the right direction. Now, as far as the pitching staff goes, you work with those guys quite a bit as well. And this is a pitching staff that varies in age, um, styles. There's a lot of different, uh, differing styles with this rotation. The starting rotation in the bullpen has been very good, too. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, they've done a great job of, you know, when our bats were slower in this season, they kept us in games. And, um, you know, Mahalik's done a great job. There's so many different personalities out there. Uh, in our team with uh, the pitchers and you know that's a good thing a lot of times and sometimes that can be tough and you know overall we gelled well as a team our pitchers have gelled well as teammates and uh, Mahalik's done a great job and Lee Croy's done a great job making sure everyone's on the same page. Hey, you mentioned Matt Lee Croy uh, you played for him back in 2013 a little bit there at the end of the year now back here in 2016 you see him as well what what does he bring to the table as a manager that uh, keeps the clubhouse in, in a good mood? You know he, he's very good at keeping the team together and uh you know, it's tough to find coaches that are great teachers and great motivators, and he does them both very well. Uh, it's fun to come to the ballpark. He, you know, makes it fun, makes it exciting, and, you know, it's, it's fun playing for him. Uh, you guys, uh, you've been here all season. It was uh, kind of a slow April into early May, and you guys have really turned it around. And uh, certainly the pitching has a lot to do with that, but it seems like you guys have done a lot of the little things right. What have you seen from this team that has allowed you guys to be 19-11 and 11 in your last 40 games? Uh, you know, when you – it's tough. A lot of uh, it's not just here. It's everywhere throughout the minor leagues and the major leagues. Uh, you know, you want to get your numbers, and uh, but when you play the game that way, your your team's never your team's going to suffer. And uh, the hardest thing to do in the minor leagues is you know to get it in your head. You play to win the game, and that, that's that's big in me. And you know, it's something that I've always believed in. Uh, but when you play to win the game, you're going to start doing well yourself. And uh, that's how the team chemistry comes together. And it, it's not easy to do because if you get 300 and your team loses every game, you're still probably going up. You hit 200 or 100, and your team wins every game, you're probably not going up. Uh, so it's hard to look at it, and it's an unselfish way to look at it, but you get you got to go out there and play to win the game. And that's something that we've done extremely well, those little things, bunts, moving runners over, getting runners in third with less than two. Uh, that's what makes great teams, and we've done that extremely well the past month. That's catcher Brian Jeroleman. Thanks, Brian.